Hey, what's going on, guys? Dilmer we're here, and welcome back to race three of thirty-six of NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup. Last week at North Carolina, we had another close finish, and finish between me and Matt Kenseth, in which Matt Ken, which I came out on top and won that race. And I am currently nineteenth in points, six points behind Brian Vickers, and one hundred eight points behind Dale Earnhardt Jr. 2004 was when Dale Jr. was probably at his prime for his his dad's team. Let's jump right into Las Vegas. For this race, I'm going to be running the uh, regular Home Depot paint scheme from 2004 because that's what Tony Stewart ran in real life. Here's the... Thank you, Bill Weber, and for this race, I'm going to be running Tony Stewart's regular car that he ran in real life. Let's go qualify for two laps around the old Las Vegas Motor Speedway. As I am recording this, this is um, a day before the elimination race in the NASCAR Xfinity Series and the uh, round of 12 opener. Who are your picks to get eliminated in the bush race? Comment them down below. And who are your picks to move on to the round of eight? Comment them down below. So here at Las Vegas, my preferred line is I stay one groove, one lane above the bottom of the racetrack, and I am virtually flying all the way around this place. So let's see what this lap's going to bring. This is back when Las Vegas had an old configuration before they raised the banking up like 15, raised the banking in the corners and made the straightaways virtually flat, I believe, and they moved the grass on the backstretch too. So, fun fact, I was actually out at Las Vegas back in 2006 just visiting that track, visiting Vegas one day, and we saw Circuit Circus, Circuit Circus Circus and everything. It was actually pretty cool when you think about it. 32nd is where we're going to be for the first lap as we make our way through turns 1 and 2. I'm guessing my approach doesn't really work, but it's your game. You run. You can run it however you want. You can run it standing on your hands. I could really care less. Coming out of turn 4, what will our time be coming to the start-finish line? And it's Another pole. Our third straight pole this season. With a time of 31.743. Huh. Let's jump in. Pace car is off. And the green flag is going to be in the air at Vegas. For 32 laps. It's the battle of the Home Depot cars heading into turn three as we got the 171 Home Depot Chevrolet with Tony Stewart driving his Home Depot Chevrolet fighting for the lead out of turn four. But it looks like there's going to be some contact made between me and Steve Thomas. I lead lap number one. Diving down in the corner. Everyone seems... I do have a little bit over a second and a half over Dale Jarrett in second. Looks like possibly Brian Vickers back there in third as well. See, another thing that really kind of sucks is in 04, you had like little dots that showed where the cars were on the track. For some reason, this was taken out in 05. God knows why. Ooh. 
Also, they made the apron a death trap. Oh, and speaking of Dale Jarrett, look who's right on our back bumper on the inside and about to take the lead. Side by side out of two. And it looks like Kurt Busch is going to go with him. See last week's runner up. Kurt Busch in the blues. Oh, Jeff Gordon's also going to go with Kurt Busch. I'm being freight trained on the outside by about five cars. Six cars now as I slip all the way back to seven. Just sliding up on the apron there. Let's draft with Newman for a bit. With Ryan Newman, who five years later, after this game was released, eventually became our teammate. Coming out of turn four, Dale Jarrett continues to lead. With Curtin pushed second, Jeff Gordon in third. Ryan Newman, oh, Jeff Gordon second. Kurt Bush got shuffled all the way to third. Newman is in fourth. I just took fifth away from Matt Kenseth in the 17. I closed the gap big time on Ryan Newman, flying right by Kurt Busch. Just staying up on Newman. I'm going to turn the brightness up on my camera. As we, uh, it looks like Jeff Gordon has taken the lead here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. He has one win, to, win at this track to his credit. That was back in 2001, and it was the, one of his many, one of his win, many wins that would kickstart his fourth and currently final NASCAR Next Cell Cup championship. Under the Chase for, new Chase format, he could get, possibly get his fifth. For all we know. In fact, he should be up there in the conversation with Dale Jr. and with Senior and Richard Petty. But Brian France, the blockhead, basically decided to screw Jeff Gordon out of two championships. <coughs> 2004, <coughs> 2007. But no matter. Gordon's retired, and Stewart's, Stewart's going to be next, probably because of um, how Brian France, the blockhead, has run the sport into the ground. So, I wonder who's next to go. Who do you think's next? I personally think it might be uh, Biffle's next turn. Greg Biffle might be next to go. Because he hasn't performed diddly squat since, what, 2013? And that one pole this year at Daytona, that was just pure luck. And he wasn't even contending the entire race. He got caught up in that big old mosh pit during the race on, like, on lap 91 that wrecked, like, 22 cars. And he just wasn't competitive. Come on. Don't run away from me, Kurt. Don't you dare run away from me, Kurt Busch. As of right now, Jeff Gordon, Kurt Busch, Dale Jarrett are your top three. I'm about to move Jarrett out of the top three, take third away from him. It is a one, two, three... One, two, three, four car breakaway at the front with Ryan Newman about to make it a five car breakaway as Jarrett way to the inside. While we're at it, let's uh, go on board. And it looks like Kurt Busch is going to try to go for the go to challenge for the lead. Look at him on the outside lane. He could could he challenge? Yes, he can. Challenge. Gordon shuts the door out of the out of four. Why am I getting? Okay, uh, something's going on. Okay, if I should not have done that. I really should not have done that then. As Gordon continues to pull away, I slip way up and 
lose two spots because this car is a tight honk driving piece of crap. We're going to try to dive it in. Why is our car so tight? A little bit of contact with Newman coming out of four. Anyways, we are 1.2 seconds back off of Jeff Gordon. So we're closing up on Dale Jarrett in the 88. See if we can get a run on him. Dale Jarrett, don't you block me. I will, I swear to God, I will personally wreck you if you block me. Shooting right five, we're going to take third. And let's just make the goal to go to the front. I'm here at Vegas. Jarrett to the inside. Thinks better of it. So it's Gordon and Kurt Busch breaking away from the field. We charge it in turn one. And close that gap. We're going to pin on lap number 15. And you know, live a little. Let's take a... Instead of two cans of fuel, let's take half a can of fuel this time. Fuel for our pit stop and four tires. Making our way out of turn number four. Basically what I do in these games is I pit when the first group of cars pit. Because, you know, back when EA had the NASCAR car license and EA actually made decent games, they made cars pit in groups, which I liked. Which is realistic. Not this NASCAR Technics and DMI crap where people pit out of the lead on lap four. Which obviously is kind of really stupid and unrealistic and I'm so glad you Technics is out of NASCAR. Making our way down. Oh, looks like Kurt Busch might, might try and chomp for lead. Stewart tried going to the apron, almost spun out. This is going to be our pit lap, so we're going to Come on down here. Hopefully it looks like Gordon is going to pit two. We're going to lock it way down. One and a half cans. Not aboard our pit stop. <laughs> so far it's been caution free off this entire race. This entire race has been run wire to wire right now. Oh, contact with Dale Jarrett on pit road as both of us are trying to get into our pit stall. Jarrett gets into us. Hopefully it doesn't affect my standing with him as a driver. Who remembers uh, NASCAR 2004 when that, I, that was a let's play? Daytona Season 2. Daytona Season 2 where Christian Fittipaldi went right through us. And I mean basically morphed through us. Who remembers that? I do, I do, I do. So, coming out of the pit stop, Kurt Busch looks like he's going to come in and pit. And we are coming out of this screen flag cycle in 29th place. Lost a little bit of a... Skill points there with that one. Ooh, a little tight there, and uh, get out of the gas to avoid getting getting loose and getting into Bobby Labonte. But everybody look, seems to save it and get stay clear. Elliot Sadler is your current leader. We're going to drive it in deep on Michael Waltrip. Contact there. Muscle him out of the way. Oh, coming back. Waltrip gets a little loose. No caution. Getting our lap back. Casey Mears takes the lead on pit road, but we all know that's probably going to change. I'm curious to see who, um, once this cycles through, who ends up the leader. I'm curious to see that. Staying on uh, Scott Riggs right here, coming out of four. Gordon, Jeff Gordon, returns back to the lead. Just going to dive right under 
Scott Riggs in the eight and the ten. Going to be the eighteenth. Got a couple. Got looks like Casey Mears exiting pit road in front of us. Just whoa, whoa, oh god, almost had to catch it just from not getting in a, not pounding the wall. This would be nice if we get a caution, you know, to get the car to tighten up. Because this is ridiculous. I don't think my steering has ever been this sensitive before in this game. I don't think the steering has ever been this bad. Just no freaking way. Gonna pass up uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. In 41 in the 8 car. Looks like we got um, nine laps to go. Nine laps to go here at Las Vegas. Jeff Gordon leads. So we are in the middle of a pretty big mosh pit. Mosh pit of cars. As Dale Jr. will not get off our bumper. Coming down into turn three. Oh my god, my car is tight. Oh, three wide. Three wide under Casey Mears and Rusty Wallace. Brendan Gaughan's going to possibly cut us off. We're going to get a position on him. Can we get a position on Sterling Marlin, too? Yes, we do. All the way up to 13th spot. Oh, contact between McMurray and Vickers. We're going to try diving in on the apron. Get a little loose, save it. A little bit of contact with Vickers. Everyone gets out of it. Going to get under Greg Biffle here for 11th. Oh, three wide. They're still fighting back. Marlin get, takes, tries to take back the spot. Ooh. 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 Oh. All right. <laughs> Getting a little antsy there. None. Eight laps to go. I'm sorry, nine laps to go now. Up in the 11th. Fighting Sterling Marlin. Is Jeff Gordon enjoys a 5.9 second lead. Is currently leading. We are cutting down that gap. Him is we got a slow car up in uh, turn three. Got a slow car up in three coming down pit road. There is... No for the contact between the two. As you see, Kenseth in the 17. We're going to have to possibly deal with him later. No caution all race. There, it, this race has been caution free since the drop of the green flag. And I'm feeling that EA NASCAR Let's Plays um, 04 and when I originally did 05, it was caution free all race. No cautions during any of the races. Literally, no cautions at all. Let's make our way out of uh, seven laps to go here at Vegas. Jeff Gordon leads. I'm in 10th, trying to fight my way past Kevin Harvick. Matt Kenseth is up there. Jimmy Johnson, Casey Kane. Elliot Sadler, oh god, Casey Kane getting by him ought to be real fun. Finally, we break our way into the top 10. Holy crap. Well, we've been in the top 10. We just gotta get by the. Gotta not have our car break and hit the brakes in the middle of the freaking corners. That'd be real freaking. Oh, Harvick. Getting a little tight with him. Running by, the, just screaming the top side lane. Jeff Gordon enjoying his three-second lead back to me in ninth. More con oh, caution is out. Caution flag is waved for the first time today, and this will be interesting. Ricky Craven snaps loose, gets hit by Kyle Petty. Just, ooh. Oh. Collected a couple fancy cars. Mark Martin got a piece of it. 
So things might get interesting here on this restart. I forgot this is Thunder of Four and they don't end the race prematurely in that in situations like that. Pace car is off as we get ready to go back to the green flag with two laps to go here at Las Vegas. Jeff Gordon leads. Get a big one by him. This is two laps left, and this is basically NASCAR's version of an early green white checkered. Three wide to six from Tony Stewart. Oh man, he's on a mission. Tony Stewart wants a win. He's going to get there any way he can. Out of turn four. And they'll see the white flag, and I almost spin the car. Last lap at Vegas. Here comes Kurt Busch trying to get to the inside. Stewart up to fourth. Oh, this could get good. Here comes Kurt down on the inside. Kurt Busch in the 97 down on the inside. Stewart's going to throw it in. Three wide, side by side. Gordon gets the, gets the jump. Oh, things get in interesting. Gordon leads here. Is going to win here at Vegas. Big crash the line. Kane, Sadler, Labonte, and everybody. Yeah, we kind of pissed Sadler off in that one. So, ally list. Kurt Busch, Dale Jarrett, Ryan Newman, and Scott Riggs. Rivals, Casey Kane and Elliot Sadler. Kane probably wants to kill me now. Jeff Gordon wins today at Las Vegas, followed by Kurt Busch in second, Jimmy Johnson third, Matt Kenseth fourth, Ryan Newman fifth, Casey Kane sixth, Tony Stewart seventh, um, Elliot Sadler eighth, Kevin Harvick ninth, and Dale Jarrett tenth. Let's look at this uh, reel right here. They just wrecked him to the line. There's one car in the grass. Or a couple of them. They don't really provide good angles here. In the 05 Let's Play. In a highlight reel. EA NASCAR game. The EA highlight reels from 05 to about 09 suck. To be honest with you. There's reel 2. Nothing. Reel 3. I'm cruising on the apron trying not to get wrecked. This is real four. I was on a mission that time. Then this is real five. From a distance, big wreck. Let's see if anybody uh, fell out of the race here. Uh, Bo Banks in the 191 fell out after 23 laps. So Use the car that was slow in turn three. Most of the field just finished on the lead lap. All but one car finished this race. See how the points shake out. Now let's look at the points. Jim, wow, things uh, shuffled big time. Jimmy Johnson is now your current points leader. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is second. Kurt Busch is third. Matt Kenseth is fourth. Ryan Newman is fifth in points. Jeff Gordon moves up to sixth. Dale Jarrett moves up is now seventh. Bobby Labonte is eighth in points. Brendan Gaughan is ninth, and Kevin Harvick is tenth in points. Remember, the top ten are your chase contenders. After race 26, we have leapfrogged our way to 13th. So the next race is going to be at Atlanta Motor Speedway for race 436, the Golden Corral 500. See you next time.